So we're off to EGX at the XR Center. What's EGX exactly? What do you say it is? Just the gaming. Euro Gaming Expo. There you go. You're a gamer. You're a gamer. Not gaming gamer. <laughs> Sorted. mission is to uh, get my ticket. I have no idea where I'm going. Um, I'm just following everyone else at this point. Hopefully it's the right way. So next mission, finding Rob and Maria. Because they had the day of here all four days, they've got the early access. They're in somewhere, they have sent me the old what three words, so I need to try and uh, need to look that up before I wander too far in, I suppose. We found Mario. Look. Hey, it's Mario. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Lovely. There's massive queues everywhere. We've just come in. It's like 10 past 11. And there's huge big queues everywhere for everything, which kind of puts me off a lot of stuff, to be honest. But... Oh, and here's the weird fitness thing. Switch. So behind me is the Ring Fit, they're playing Ring Fit Adventure. The idea is a bit like the old um, balance board you just get with the, the Wii. Um, so you play a game, you've got a ring with one of the controllers, and you've got the other controller strapped to your leg, and you're squeezing the ring, you're juggling on the spot, and moving a character around the map and doing various things. But basically, you're getting your heart rate up, which isn't a bad thing. I don't think it's what I would choose to do, but whatever works you both. My brother is going back quite into Borderlands, so they wanted to grab these cosplayers to get a photo with them. Why not? I love cosplay, I wouldn't necessarily do it myself, but it's all good fun. <laughs> Now this sort of thing looks fun, driving games, in a seat, steering wheel, big screen, my kind of thing. This here, also my kind of thing, we've got some Apex Legends going on. I might try and jump on a bit of a game, I don't know what I'll do, I'd rather come over to the Excel Centre than play a game over at home. But uh, try out some of the Logitech hardware. We're queuing at the moment. Um, to have a go on the drive-in game. There's a competition over the other way. I wish Maria is going to go try and do the best time lap, please, but have a bit of a drive around, really. Why not? Yeah, 
two laps. <laughs> Now you can go a bit quicker and try and uh... You know, it's so hard you have to do the same right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we did queue for about hello, half an hour, even 40 minutes perhaps, but it was good fun, the uh, driving. Um, I clocked a 151, which is the fastest time anyone we saw. No one else, probably my brother, actually completed a lap. And if I hadn't spun, I'd have been maybe a 130 or so, which would have been on their, on their top times table. Although I think this side of things had the ABS and traction control turn on, so it's probably a bit easier. But it was good fun, good fun. I love some of the rigs you see at Pace Look at that. Five puns up. It's crazy. Probably thousands of pounds as well for the iPhone. And there's what? Someone, there's someone filming right now. Someone else, I'm filming, someone else filming. Why not? Look at that. Yeah. It's the first professional build I've ever done. Oh, wow. Are you good? I think you're Very loud. I don't know why this car's got to be quite so loud. It's almost deafening me. But over what's going on behind in a booth of like. This is what you need to make the job. It's a good way. I think this might be the furthest furthest we have. Is that the furthest? Ladies and gentlemen, we almost had a level complete there. Congratulations. Then I found the uh, the overclockers. Wow. Found the overclockers booth, um, which is the forum I use a lot for all things uh, online, I suppose. <laughs> That was one hit of armor. Yeah, it was a No? Okay, if I can't see Thomas, we might have to go to third place. So, congratulations! You made yourself this amazing art book to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Just Dance. And just keep it going. So, Maria's bought a can of water. A can of water. So, what I actually think it is, is Coke free Coke. <laughs> and then you just like the water. It's kind of wet. Yeah. Good. It must be good for me. It's got nothing in it. So I like 
like they've got all the different team flags in the corner there with the uh, trophies. You get your photo taken with the trophy. Can you see the lighting though? See the lighting in there? No, because there isn't any. You can put a few lights in and these get a better picture. Anyway. <laughs> So this is quite cool. Playing on your bed, gaming on your ceiling. Cool. So here's something clearly the world's been missing. Angry Birds VR. Of course. And apparently, Argos have got a shop here. I mean, I guess why not? Maybe gamers here come sell gaming equipment, I suppose. This does actually look quite cool, the Avengers game. Not that it's something that I would play, probably, but it looks kind of cool. The problem is, I, would, uh, I wouldn't mind a, a go at it, but you're probably queuing... You're probably queuing somewhere for like half an hour to an hour just to have a five minute play. It's just not really worth it, I don't think. We've apparently got a zombie Judge Dredd in the background here. Ah, that could be cool. Um, unfortunately, so it's probably booked till like 2 p.m. It's only half one, but still. Surely that's going to make you feel ill, though, flying around in space in VR. Probably very cool, though. So who doesn't love Narcos on Netflix? It's coming out, come view again. Cool. So it does actually sound quite cool. It's all based on season one of Narcos. It's got the actual actors and characters in the uh, in the game, and they've got all the license and everything. And uh, it's basically sort of turn-based. You said it's a bit like XCOM, turn-based single-player campaign mode, story-driven. Um, what else did you say? Two two campaigns coming out very soon. Seems to be on all platforms. You get to do a kill shot though, which is quite different. So you place all your characters, let things play out, but then you can intervene and do kill shots. It does actually look pretty good. So uh, I just come by this chappy doing a bit of a talk. Where is he? 
Uh, there is a possibility that we can't I'll stage that. And actually, I'm more interested in anything else outside of what we're working on. Um, game jams generally are open to everybody. You don't have to. Well, actually, that camera setup is weird. If I got a lens on a tripod with a monitor attached to it, how bizarre. And you don't necessarily have to follow your own. It's not like a map where you can see where you are. Oh, yeah. Again, we'll see. That was quite a fun. Quite, quite, kind of fun. This is quite cool. We're in the retro gaming section. So there's some PC games here. There was some of the early consoles at the top there. Some arcade. I don't particularly recognise many of them, if I'm honest, at this point. Some proper classic arcade games there. Oh, PC Lamp. What are going on PC Lamp? Wow, cool. This one I definitely remember. Good old Counter Strike. I assume it's like 1.3, 1.1, something like that. Proper old school gaming. What is going on here? <laughs> How do you fit that under your desk? What's the problem with here? It's great fun. You look all right, idiot, do any? He's having a right time. Yeah. Oh, all right, Chrissy. Next 
it's one of those kind of amusing table manners. It's almost like some kind of date simulator, and some people's dates are not going well at all. Can't really see, it's very crowded in there now, but uh, it looks interesting, looks different. Overcooked always a bit of a favourite when the lads come over, so quite interesting to see. Looks like they've got a new one coming out. I have to keep my eyes peeled off that, pick that up perhaps. You went early to you played this one. Oh, no, 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 no,
Who am I the AFK at school? Oh, so you see what Duke is connecting many tucks there. And that's why they're doing very well with the cross game now, Pressure. Never die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. oh, I see you rotate the... Uh... Oh, I need to make a smaller one. I like it. Oh, I start filming now. Night out is pleased. But we don't know what pleased him. We don't know what pleased him there, actually. Who knows? Um, the pressure to not, not be able to do everything. Yeah. So the problem was showing off here and not at the uh, first time, uh, and it's a vertical size. We have blocked some situation that would generate much more cards, more complex to explain and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's weird, it's weird, it's weird. Because in the actual, in the finished product, you will have much more cards and much more... And, and the other thing I couldn't work out to do, uh -huh. I said my machine was hurting. This is... Uh, what, this can is I, what can I do about that? It's a bug, because uh, uh, normally if you click uh, on, the, on the dirty machine... You... So this is the, uh, the game creator they're talking to, which is great. We're in a kind of an indie section, basically, so... Uh, yeah, people are here with their own games. So my brother's able to ask you questions. Why can't you do this in the game? Why can't you do that? And, you know, he's saying, yeah, I've not done it yet. It's coming, don't worry. I think it's great you can talk to the creators. This is a sort of thing. We are redesigned completely this uh, button because we have three issues. So there we go, all over, all uh, all done. We now just need to just try and find the car. Is the next the next mission? But yeah, it's been good fun. Seen a few games that look interesting. Narcos look good. Moving out, whatever it's called, look good. Um, what was the table? Oh, table manners. That looked interesting. Far too busy for us to be able to play it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's been interesting. So I found a quiet stairwell just to record this bit because I've no idea what it's going to sound like when I actually watch this back because it's a very noisy um, show floor. Uh, but anyway, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you have, please do subscribe. Click that bell icon so you know when I release new videos. Check out some other videos on my channel as well. Um, leave a comment. I do read them all, I promise. But for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.